Go. Hey guys, I'm here before uh, the show in Kansas, and I'm here with a very eminent pipe maker, Nate King. He originally got famous by being in the series with that girl from Charlie Manson's Angels. Remember Steroids and Mrs. King? I do. I yeah, do. yeah. So that was based on his life, Steroids and Mrs. King. I don't want to brag. But after he got out of bodybuilding and Charlie's Angels, he decided to start making pipes. And he's actually a very, very talented pipe maker. And his pipes actually grabbed some pretty impressive prices. He uh, recently made a magnetized floating pipe that, as I was speaking to him, reminded me of a Jules Verne novel, like Journey to the Center of the Earth, which has nothing to do with Middle Earth, or 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, right. which is about the sinking of Kursk under, under Putin. And we were talking about Putin That's before. Right, yes. Yeah, my mind is like all messed up. It's all over. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Right. However, I had gotten the opportunity to buy these two pipes from Walther, of Walther Pipes, and I fucking love them. And uh, I'm going to try, as I was saying in another video, some of this late 1920s Liefniks. Liefniks? Yeah, Liefniks. Liefniks from Holland. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's Popeye with a wooden shoes. <laughs> No, no, he got, can you tell us how he got this on eBay? Yeah, actually, I mean, honestly, it was, I was in Russia about six years ago. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yes, I, I saw you there. I, You're not, he's not kidding. <laughs> collusion, oh my yeah. gosh, no. Um, Always. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually was, I, you know, I, I venture into... YouTube or uh, uh, eBay occasionally, and just to see what's available. Mm -hmm. And as as eBay has become, people figure out what things are worth now. And like before, eBay was you could find a really good deal, and now people are starting to get savvy. And and but I stumbled upon this. Well, I had no real knowledge of any of anything about it, but I'm like, oh, that's an old cutter top. I know that, and we'll see what I can get it for. And I end up getting it for a steal, considering what it is, and uh, had to have it. And I just opened it one week ago. Nice. Guys, now when I say a steal, it's up to you whether you want to disclose how much you paid for it or not, but a steal doesn't mean that he got it for free. No. This is not a 20 or 50. But close to, close to free, considering what it is. No, I was able to get, I scored this 10, I think, for about $40, which... Oh, shit, I thought yeah. it was $400. No, 40 I was going to say 400 bucks, but... No, that, yeah. I was gone for that. Yeah, sure, because it's 1920s tobacco. Yeah. I thought he originally said 400 Son of a dude, you dog. No, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, I'm for, happy to share it, you know. For $40, I mean, guys, take a look at this stuff. This is... Uh, it's an old cutter top. That's the foil after you... I'm actually going to do a video on YouTube of this. Well, for those that don't know what cutter tops were, this is how originally tobacco came. And that foil was actually soldered to the top of the pipe, or of the tobacco tin. And then you had this, you had this, what's called a cutter, and you slide that inside. You see it fall now. Uh -huh. And then you pierce the tin, and then you spin it. And it cuts that foil out. Like a sardine can. Yeah. There are instructions here. Ah. Open by piercing cutter, yeah. in cover through lid and turn. I'm reading it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do. Yeah, I'm just drunk enough to do this. But I'm going to try some of this tobacco. Stuff looks fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of texture-wise. Smell-wise, it's different than Bulk and Sobrani, but visually, it's very yeah. similar to yeah. it. Visually, yeah. it's very, very similar. Yeah. And it has... Shag, shag cut. This is before ribbon. Shaggy was doing Scooby-Doo. And right. then there was the Nancy yeah. Reagan version, Scooby-Don't. Yes. Yes. And the Mystery Mobile... Just say no. Just say no. But then there were three guys in the back with a, with a big di Great Dane. Yeah. Oh! Yes. That's an old-school sticker. When you see this man rocking, don't come a knocking, because inside they're what? Hockey pucking. Yeah. Well, I learned that in third grade. Anyway, it really had a profound effect on my life, like reading Hustler when I was young. They say that, you know, smut and video games and weed were bad for kids, but I grew up on that shit. And hey, look, <laughs> look how I turned out. <laughs>
<laughs> seem completely normal to me. I'm going to put it into this Walker pipe. Yes. And I'm going to smoke it and tell you my impressions of this. Because, guys, how often do you get to smoke tobacco that's like 90 years old? Yeah. Not very often. Not very often. And in, and in this condition. Yeah. It's actually nice and moist. Yes. You know, no rehydration. No, straight out of the, the pop of the seal, man. You know, I feel like, on it. you know, I feel in a way like I'm having sex with Mae West. <laughs> yeah. I have no comment. No, but no that, comment. that I said it all when I said it. That's, yes, you did. Nothing more needs said. Yeah, nothing needs to be said. I feel like I'm having sex with Mae West. <laughs> and WC Field is like standing there, oh, 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 my little chickadee. And Charlie Chaplin is doing his shit. You know, I know the old school actors. Yes. I'm talking about even older than Ron. Ronald Reagan. Yes. Yeah, that time for Bonzo just, and all that. Just yeah. slightly. Yeah, just slightly. How do I even know this shit? See that? That's that's from reading all the porn yes. magazines. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> reading of some variety. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to uh, light this up and tell you guys. No, this is this is great camaraderie. I mean, I this love this. This is what pipe shows are about. This and I wasn't what happens. I wasn't kidding about the magnetic levitating pipe. Yeah, you don't have it with you. No, I do not. That pipe is fucking unique. I want to put this on our YouTube channel. Guys, he actually made a pipe that it rotates, it rotates and it floats in midair. Right? Oh, I think concept. I saw that at the last show. Yes, that was, yeah, Columbus. Okay. Yeah, there's a little, little remnant in there. Oh, the room notes are lovely. Lovely. The room notes really are lovely. I will say go slow with this one. Just sip it. Sort of like a little bit of love. Little Louis the Thirteenth cognac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, wait, my parents are my parents aren't watching this, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, the Victorians were very kinky back in their day. Do you know that they gave kids enemas to wash the devil out of them, but that encouraged transvesticism? Oh, that sounds legit. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with that. All right. All right. <gasps> see, I always wanted to see that on the Adams family. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little doghouse on the prairie. <laughs> well, Carol Gilligan's Island, they lock up inmates with some third wave feminists. Yeah, I mean, it's that would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. I also wanted to do like a remake of the Brady Bunch. I wanted to do a version of It's a Story, an Irish mobster who had three thugs of his own. Oh, Brady's Bunch. It's a prohibition style family doing bootlegging. Guys, I'm in. I have. I would I have, watch that. Yeah, he I'm would in. watch that. Or, I'm in. There my you go. name is Charlie and I'm in jail. These are my angels. Charlie Manson's angels. <laughs> You like That's that? Awful. No, That's I, awful. Have, I have ideas. I have ideas. Or how about Freeze Company? It's about a guy living with two girls in some liquid nitrogen tanks. <laughs> and there's like, yeah, there's John Ritter. I'm Frozen Jack. Head Tripper. How about Underwoman? She's a bottom. Or The Flasher, world's quickest pervert. Social Justice League. You like that? You see, oh my God, you're full of them tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm just full of on fire. <laughs> yeah. So how's the tobacco? Yes, we're gonna. How is it, <laughs> guys? This is fantastic. It really is. There, there are many uh, people in the pipe smoking community that are. Oh man, I don't. I don't want to try that because if I love it, I can't get it anymore. I'm, I am a person who believes it is better to have loved and lost than never, never loved at all. Oh, yeah. To have some of these iconic blends takes you back. Oh, yes. To Mae West. To Mae West. To Mae yes. West. Yes. <laughs> she was pretty hot, but nobody ever knew how old she was till the day she died. And I think she would have wanted to keep it this way. Sure. Guys, seriously, this is very interesting tobacco. It kind of has that old world flavor, and it really is old world. It's over yeah, 90 years old, or yeah, close to 90 Holland. years old. Yeah. I mean, if it was from the late 20s and we're in 2018, it's at the very least 89 years old, but it could be 90. Yeah. It could be 91. And 
Well, I would say I'd that... Say the pipe has something to do with it, too. Yeah, the pipe definitely does have something to do with It'll it. It'll make some nice stuff. Yes. Yes, it does. It does remind me of something when you said it's better to have love than... And then lost than never, never, never to have loved at all. <laughs> Shakespeare did have a quote, and I'm going to give this at the end of this tobacco review, although this video has many things other than the tobacco. Seriously, guys, this is kick-ass stuff. You will never get a can of this on eBay. So yes. if you didn't taste this here tonight, you can find it, get it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, you should see the movie Idiocracy. I have seen the movie Idiocracy. <laughs> okay, so you know, whopping the, big the, burger. The, yeah, the fuck prophecy. you. Yeah, the prophecy. <laughs> yeah, the prophecy. <laughs> Guys, this is really kick-ass tobacco. It's difficult to describe, but it has very complex floral notes. Yes. yes. And it has a uh, strange reminiscence of Coniston's plug cut flake, I think, a little bit. I was going to say, I know, I do know I'm not the lead expert on tobaccos. He's sitting over there, but Gosh. that it has... It does remind you a little uh, bit of It is of a, Coniston. the base is Virginia and Turkish, which was... A, which was fairly common in that time for everything, including cigarettes. Interesting. But, well, this is when they said that Virginia is for lovers and the Ottoman Turks raped all of Europe. <laughs> I, I, Virginia I would Turkey. like to be prepared, but yeah, I, I just I have nothing to say. Nice. Yeah. Well, at this point, we're going to say one thing to quote Shakespeare. Life is a story told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing and then and then what happens the existentialist sound would drop it to go over and cameo and start right no i'm not going to do that on being in nothingness and then world war ii came along after world war one and then korea and vietnam and afghanistan and chechnya and boom here we are today after iraq and remember in space no one <laughs> can hear you scream that's right that was when Sigourney Weaver was asked to shave her head, and I thought they're Schrodinger's cats. Uh, Darwin's ghost, Dalton's baboon, but now we have Sigourney's beaver. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> How many actresses are going to admit that they asked them to shave something for a role? Probably not many. Yeah? goes back to the idea of Snow White and the Seven Sailors. Anyway, guys, you take care. You've seen it here first. Two very talented pipe makers, Bill Walther, Nate King, yours truly, and hold on, the one who was in charge of the technical difficulties of this video, Samantha Fix, and myself, who shall remain nameless. <laughs> Good things come in small packages. So next time you open it up, do beware if you care, do I dare. Have fun, fly in peace and load of pieces.